Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a card trick. This card trick involves the four piles with all suits and the ordering ace, king, queen, jack, ten of each suit. So the first part is we're going to put all these piles face down. We're going to put all the piles together. Okay, and we can cut it as many times as we want. So cut, cut. Even one card is considered a cut. Okay, so let's see what happens. Pretty cool, huh? We got all the aces together, all the kings together, all the queens together, all the jacks together, and all the tens together. Now, there's actually no magic behind this trick. It's actually an idea in mathematics known as permutation. And I'm going to explain what that means in um, on a piece of paper. All right. So now we're going to talk about what happened in that trick. So remember we had the piles, the spades, the hearts, the diamonds, and the clubs. And we had the cards ace, king, queen, jack, ten in each. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see these as sets. So this is the set of spades, the set of hearts, the set of diamonds, and the set of clubs. And each set contains the elements ace, king, queen, jack, ten, or the cards. And notice that they're distinct objects. They're different from each other. Okay? So that's what an element is. It's a distinct object. And sets are um, a collection of distinct objects or elements. So. As you can see, these sets aren't aren't anything are um, are ordered. So this ace, king, queen, jack, ten. This is an order. This is an order. This is an order. This is an order. So remember when in the trick I put them together, they were still in order because I made sure that the piles got on top of each other. So I'm going to show you what happens when we put all of the cards together. Here is when all of the cards are put together. Notice that the ace, king, queen, jack, ten, ace, king, queen, jack, ten, ace, king, queen, jack, ten, that order stayed the same because I put them on top of each other. So this is a big ordered set that was created out of four smaller ordered sets. So I drew this line to represent a cut. Well, a cut is actually a permutation in terms of mathematics. And since we're dealing with sets here, we're actually um, using permutation to rearrange these elements, these ordered elements. So what I did here was I, in, in the card trick, I put this part of the deck and I put it on top of this part. Well, I did it multiple times, but for this particular um, problem, we're gonna, just going to do a, a cut once. So I put this on top of this part. So what's that going to do? It's going to have this 10 above this ace right here. And then this king is going to be the highest element. So I drew this arrow right here to illustrate the permutation that's taking place. So if this part, if this part of the set is going on top of this part of the set, then the king is going to be here, the queen, the jack, the ten, all the way down to the ace, which is right here. Notice that this ace lines up with this ace, king, queen, jack, ten, ace. So that's where this part, remember, since this moved up, this part moves down. So if you can see in the original, there's an interval of four before we see another ace. So it's an ace, a king, a queen, a jack, a ten, and then another ace. So we have four elements before seeing another ace. And that principle is still seen in the um, permutation set. So we have a king here, and then the queen, the jack, the ten, and then the ace, and then another king. So there's four elements before you see another king. And just to keep with this example, here's the ace, the king, the queen, the jack, the ten, and then another ace. So you can see the four elements that are spacing the aces. This is going to play a crucial role in how the trick worked. So I'm going to show you that right here. So remember when I put all the cards together? Well, 
Remember, the kings lined up together, the queens lined up together, the jacks lined up together, the tens lined up together, and the aces lined up together. So how this happened is basically we have this king here, and then there's the four elements before we see another king. So remember, it was king, queen, jack, ten, ace, and then another king. Remember in that um, permutated set? So you can see that we need, when we have five different cards, we need to have five rows in order for the trick to work because there's going to be a spacing of four elements. So you can see that right here. So the number of different cards that you use will equal the number of different rows. So for um, an exercise, I want you to come up with your own trick illustrating this property. So instead of using maybe five cards like I did, I want you to use six different cards. So if you have six different cards, you would need how many number of rows? Those are the things I want you to work on. And then I want you to do the, do the trick with your group.